we serve a huge population uh, with essential services that nobody else uh, can provide, nobody else will provide, um, and the opportunities that gives me to make a difference. Come back from overseas, worked for the Trust before, I enjoyed my time here before, so I thought it was a good place to come back to. I chose to work at the Pennine because I wanted to help patients receive a better service and to have a listening ear. Personally, some fantastic job opportunities. I've been able to improve my qualifications um, and it's really mapped my career. I chose Penine because uh, I thought it would be a good opportunity to develop and lead a service. Uh, and that's what happened actually. Uh, the new paediatric services moved from Booth Hall to North Manchester. And for us it was just like bringing up a, a new baby and we enjoyed seeing it grow. I've worked at Penine for 32 years and I found every day a challenge. It's a, a trust what looks at improving safety, the environment, working conditions for staff and the team involved within Pennine are an excellent team and I really enjoy being there. I've worked in Oldham and then Pennine for the last 19 years and I came with the intention of staying for one year but the people were fantastic and the teams I work with are really motivated so I chose to stay here and I intend to stay here until I retire. I worked at Berry General and Fairfield um, where I trained 23 years ago um, and I've chosen to stay working within the same area, worked at Rochdale for a while, but always stayed within Pennine. I joined Pennine in 2005, pretty much um, straight from university, and there were two things I, will look, I was looking for um, in terms of a role. One is that it, it, it would pose a challenge and that it would be interesting, and then the second element was that it would be really of benefit and that I would come away knowing that, that we were making a difference. I come from Yorkshire so I wanted to get out back into the NHS and this a job came up here but now I'm here um, I can honestly say that I wouldn't want to work anywhere else at the moment I really enjoy working here. I've worked at Pennine for a long time and I think it's a trust with a heart I've worked in other trusts I've worked in other countries but I've always come back worked 28 years for one of the hospitals for Pennine this month um, and the reason why I'm still here is because of the people um, I've never met a group of people that will work together for the patients, for the staff and that's the reason why I'm still working at Pennine. I worked for Pennine for over five years and I stay with Pennine because as a pharmacy service we're dynamic, forward thinking and we've won awards both uh, nationally and locally so uh, I think we have a lot to offer. I love my job. It's, um, it has lots of variety and I get the opportunity to, to meet and to work with lots of different people from various different areas so it keeps it really interesting. I worked for the Trust for 16 years, something that I've always enjoyed doing and I work with some really good people. I worked for the Trust for nine years and I love the teamwork, I love the spirit of the staff, everybody pulls together and works really hard. It's the team dynamics and it's that teamwork that we have and the team gelling together that keeps me here. confident about things we've achieved, I think we need to broadcast the things we've achieved, so some of the areas that I work in, uh, in terms of what we've done in mortality, the work we're doing in quality, um, and the, the rigour of which we investigate ourselves when, we, when things don't go as well as we'd like, are all things that, that I think we should be proud of. Teamwork, yeah, um, providing good patient care, high quality patient care. I feel like I've made a good contribution to my role and the Pennine has a, a diverse culture and I'm proud to be a part of that. I'm proud of this team here in the Macmillan Information and Support Centre because I feel that we really do make a difference in helping to support people affected by cancer and supporting the professionals uh, involved in uh, care and treatment of people affected by cancer. What makes me really proud is that our local population now consider us as the, as the provider of choice. And you can see that, that when we initially started the service, we were having something like 15,000 a and &E attendances and about 4,000 children coming. In the last five years, it's doubled. It's actually more than doubled, actually. We see around 38,000 kids coming to the A&E and around nearly 8,000 admissions every year to the children's unit. That clearly shows that we're doing a good job. I'm proud to work at Pennine because um, they have high standards and high standards is what's in most important to me. We've got a great team, everyone's really involved, the communication's great, 
we um, have got a really great MDT, so we've got physios, we've got dietitians, we've got pharmacists, we've got OTs, we've just got everyone that needs to be there. Well, it's when I come across people uh, who show extra acts of kindness, like the uh, intensive care nurse who made a, um, a cake for a patient celebrating their golden wedding anniversary. Uh, as occasions like that, I'm very proud to work for this organisation. I think Pennine have taken the lead with centralising services, so we're providing excellent care and the best possible service for local people um, and people in the surrounding area. I've worked in a couple of roles since I arrived at Pennine and I've worked with a broad range of staff from a broad range of services and the thing that struck me then and, and continues to really enthuse me is the dedication and the commitment to delivering excellent patient care. It has real heart as well, people genuinely think about the patients all the time. It's not to say we always get it right, but when we get it wrong, we hold our hands up, we admit it and we learn from it. I think it's got to be the staff. Um, I mean, there are staff that are committed to the profession and go the extra mile day after day and it's, it's inspiring and it's humbling. Everybody working as a team, finding a solution to make patient care the best that we possibly can. We've got uh, a set of uh, managers now that are focused and lead from the front but engage with the staff and the staff have really taken that on board and because they're being empowered they feel that they can move forward and change things itself as well. I'm proud of the dedication of my team. Um, I'm proud of the relationships we've built up with our nursing and medical colleagues and I've been lucky enough to do some mock CQC inspections uh, recently and I'm really proud of the quality of nursing care that's delivered at ward level. I'm really proud of the team. I have a fantastic physiotherapy team uh, in the trust across all the sites um, and not only are they hard working, very committed, but they also challenge themselves all the time so that they improve the quality of what they do continuously. The staff make me proud how everybody comes into work with a smiley face and they're all happy no matter how hard the shift is. The clinical assessment unit, the urgent care centre and the OASIS unit which is where I am at the moment, I feel have been groundbreaking initiatives that have been delivered by clinicians on the shop floor. We're good communicators and, and I personally have a, I'm doing clinical and management but team together and that keeps it all going and the efficiency of the department here on the, on the Rochdale site. So I believe that we need to concentrate more on keeping our staff happy and my personal recommendation would be that every clinical area uh, be revisited, especially with regard to workforce and areas where we're doing well, we learn from them. I think we really need to work in a much more integrated, seamless fashion. Patients are in community much more now, so we need seamless services between primary, secondary and tertiary care and we need to make sure Pennine stops losing its cancer services because other providers are actually taking a lot of our work. On a daily basis we need to look at what we're doing and make sure we're using the evidence and the quality and everything that we offer our patients is for their interest and not for us and to put them first and in the centre at all times. From family and friends feedback we can see that um, most patients are happy with the care they're receiving, that their experience has been good. Be maybe a bit, little bit less modest about the things that we're really good at and uh, um, you know, recognise our achievements more and then we'll start feeling better about what we do. The main thing is we have got such a great vision and that would be for the management team to kind of take that vision, allow us to work in pilots to see how things work, what the outcomes are and you know what we can do to get things better for patients. The patient should be listened to and, um, and their thoughts and ideas acted upon. I go around and speak to patients on the wards on a daily basis, um, very rarely get any negative comments but um, when you come to prove what you're doing we need that assurance and we need it standardising throughout the whole trust. We're a massive trust so that's a big challenge. I think something about Carrying on with the culture that we've already started here about communicating well, communicating clearly to patients and staff 
throughout the whole organisation. There shouldn't be any point where you feel like you can't get through. There should be clear pathways of communication. We should be able to have our voices heard, which we do, but make sure that continues to happen. Um, and just encourage the uh, sort of embracing of new ideas, new ways of doing things, striving towards better community services, integrated care, that sort of thing. What really could be improved for patients and staff is if services could be more joined up. Um, we do find that patients very often have quite complex journeys through their care, um, particularly in cancer care through to other organisations and things aren't necessarily always as joined up as they should be. One of the work streams that I'm involved with in my present role is around innovation and that's something that really excites me going forward because absolutely we're responding to the challenges that we face within the public sector and within the acute sector but we're taking those challenges and we're looking at to turn those into opportunities. How can we deliver better patient care? How can we deliver better quality? I think what we need to do is we've got good relationships with our partners outside community services etc and I think we need to make that stronger to make sure that patient care is seamless. The staff need to have a, a, a voice in the development of the trust vision and strategy because without them we won't be able to deliver uh, our strategy. I think we uh, need to invest in our staff, I think we need to focus on quality um, and I think we need to look at some of our estates. Continue with the teamwork all staff to continue to cross over the boundaries with the one main aim of improving the services that we deliver to patients. It's our work in progress. Communication uh, between staff and families, we're going to have open visiting on here so it's all about being open and getting families to see exactly what we do. One of the things that can be improved is that our senior colleagues need to truly understand how services work and I think they need to be given the time to be able to do this. The actual department, we still have some empty sessions which from reconfiguration have never been filled and it's that efficiency of the unit that needs to improve as a centre. We, we could be a centre of excellence if the energy was put in from management to create the work. With staff improving communications, which I think the new chief is with this new forum, you know, where people can comment, like things, dislike things, have their own say. It's anonymous, so I think more people will contribute. So I do think that we're heading in the right direction with the communication.